We're going to speak about guns. More children in America die of gunshot wound than any other reason that stunning and that is sick. So, we want to stand against violence in America and join me in getting these weapons war off the streets of America. An AR-15 was used in the shooting of Donald Trump. This was an assault weapon to kill so many others, including children. It's time to outlaw them. I did it once and I will do it again. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're coming to you from the Freedom Office. Uh, it's very hot outside, and I hate the heat. Uh, can't deal with it. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a couple things today. Uh, one being uh, Joe Biden has COVID. Isn't that convenient? And uh, probably won't be able to continue on with the race and probably feels it's better for the country that he ball, uh, bails out, you know. And I think it's interesting that they went through the whole primary set, you know, th arrangements, no no, uh, what do you call those debates with anybody, you know, RFK sitting over going, you bastard, I could have done this. Right. And, uh, they're, they're, you know, now that they realize the polls, they, there's no way that this old fart is going to beat Donald Trump. They're going to pull him out because if they can't win it, honestly, they're just going to go ahead and cheat and do it badly. All right. So anyway, yay, he's got COVID. Guess what's going to happen? I, I can read it on the wall. So secondly, he did a speech over there in, uh, in, in Las Vegas, all right, NAACP event. And he talked about uh, getting weapons of war off the street and, you know, protecting kids, these kids getting killed and left and right. So I was like struck by the whole thing about more ki uh, kids, the leading cause of death for children these days and adolescents, adolescents, you got to keep in mind, it's up to 17 years old. Okay. Those are young adults. His gun, gun, firearms, right? Death by firearm, homicide, whatever you want to call it, right? So I wanted to do a little research and uh, I got a hold of this one website, all right? And it's called KFF, the Independent Source for Health Policy Research, Polling, and News. I mean, you go to every town, it's like, oh my God, gun, one gun killed like 35,000 people. And, and they're full of bullshit. They're a lobbyist. They're trying to do it. This is an independent study done by a really cool. Uh, uh, company KFF. I don't even know what that stands for, but in doing some research myself, I found out some really neat things. And you got to keep in mind. And I said this the other day about demographics. You know, you go to Finland, uh, they don't have gangs, they don't have the hood, they don't have the environment that these guys. And I'm I'm just not saying this, but anything. But I feel for people who are having to be raised in an environment like this, where if you say something wrong to the wrong person, they're going to shoot you. And they're going to kill you right there. Or they're going to drive by your house later on, shoot your family up, your little one-year-old baby, whatever. Because the thing is, is that the, the society, there are certain folks in society that have lost all respect for human life. It doesn't mean a damn thing. I'll kill you. I'll kill you more. Um, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I look around and I realize there's nothing left. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I read some serious stuff, and if you're still with me on this thing, it's two, two minutes and 42 seconds into it. I'm going to show you something put right here. The recent increases in firearm deaths among black and Hispanic children and adolescents were primarily driven by, by gun assault since the onset of the pandemic. The gap in gun assault death rates between black and white children and adolescents has significantly widened. While the gun assault death rate among black youth grew from 4.9% to 10.3% per 100,000, between 2018 and 2022. And I'm going to show you something really interesting here in a few minutes. The death rate remains steady and below 1.0% for white youth. The gun assault death rate among Hispanic youth doubled during this period from 0.09 to 2.0 for 1,000 between 2018 and 2022. Firearm suicide rates have also increased among black youth in recent years from 0.07 to 1.0, 1.1. Uh, meanwhile, firearm suicide rates have remained steady with the white youth by 2022. Okay, rates were similar between white and black youth. Uh, firearm suicide and assault rates were not available for other non-Hispanic race groups. As a result, the worsening trends in the firearm deaths in 2022, youth, black youth accounted for 48% of all youth firearm deaths, although they made up only 14% of the U U.S. youth population. And I, got, I have all the little charts here. Where people live, and it saddens. And as I read this, I'm just, I'm, I'm angry. 
And I'm angry at Joe Biden. And I'm going to show you the reason why, folks. If you look at this chart, this is figure number three. Total firearm death rates for children and adolescents by race, ethnicity, 2018 to 2022. Total firearm deaths, okay? Uh, if we look right here, okay, 2018, that's gray. You can see the white population pretty much remained the same, went up a little bit. The black population right here for adolescents uh, and children, 6%. 6.0 and then look what happened to jump in 2020 2021 and 2022 what does this say well um when was joe biden elected 2020 right here and where <laughs> it's 2022. I hate to see where it is in 2023 and 2024. It's probably skyrocketing. As a matter of fact, I might try to find it. But Joe Biden could sit there and scream and holler about gun control and everything else like that. But he is a direct result of this right here. His policies. His policies are the reason why the deaths of children and adolescents are so high in the streets. Now, he wants to talk about AR-15s and all the other stuff. That'll never end. That'll never stop. Democrats, as long as they breathe, they will always be going against the AR-15, the most popular firearm in the country that has the least amount of deaths committed by it. You want to talk about a bad problem? Talking about the guns on the streets. Talking about how are kids able to get a hold of guns. This is the sad part about where we are. And you have an asshole in office right now that wants to blame everybody else but except for stick the finger at himself his policies zero dollar what is it called zero bail uh catch and release immediately allowing that uh, anyway and i anticipate the hispanic uh homicide rate is going to go up drastically too because we just invited 18 million or whatever it is into our country unvetted so with that guys let me know what you think below okay um keep it clean we don't tolerate anything stupid but this is uh, this is a direct result of Joe Biden. So with that being said, guys, uh, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And give it, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to do. And in the infamous words of the great Cobra Burnout, boom, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.